Pro Group Management. Workers' comp that works for you. This is 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review-Journal. Good evening, I'm Jen Ah. Thanks for joining us on 7 at 7. Starting off with business, sponsored by Bank of Nevada. Bank on accountability. The Las Vegas Formula One centerpiece is beginning to rise from the ground, getting us one step closer to this. Lights out, and away we go. We're talking about the construction of the start and finish line, driver pits, and more. Review Journal's James Schaefer gives us a peek. Thanks to Las Vegas Review Journal drones, we are now getting a first look at the Formula One Las Vegas Grand Prix site as we learn more not just about the race, but the money and work driving the competition. Las Vegas is taking shape for the F1 race scheduled for November 16th to the 18th of this year. And we are now seeing the first columns are in place for what will be the 300,000 square foot, four story, $500 million facility located on the northeast corner of Harmon Avenue in Cobalt Lane. But plans are for F1 to utilize the space year round, not just for those with tickets on race weekends. If you haven't got tickets yet, you know, don't worry. RJ's Mick Akers has more. Uh, right now, there's only one of three phases of tickets have been released. So that's that's the, the first one, that was the smallest one. The next one's gonna be coming at the end of February or the beginning of March. And then the final one's gonna be in May and that's gonna be the largest ticket allotment there. For the Las Vegas Review Journal, I'm James Schieffer. In more top stories, sponsored by Nevada Hand Silver Sky Assisted Living Community. Learn more at nevadahand.org. A Las Vegas strip club sues the rapper Blueface after he allegedly fired a gun at a car outside the club in October. Euphoric Gentlemen's Club alleges in the lawsuit that its licenses were revoked because of the shooting, causing the club to shut down. Blueface's attorney says she's aware of the suit, but declined to comment. And after losing his re-election bid in November, former Governor Steve Sisolak heads to the Windy City. He said to join University of Chicago's Institute of Politics as a fellow this winter and spring. He'll be leading seminars on challenges he faced while governing in Nevada, including climate change, improving public education, and the COVID-19 pandemic. And Nye County says the appointment of Michelle Fiore to the Prump Justice Court bench is legitimate. Review Journal's Renee Semerauer has more on what this means after numerous complaints made against her. That's right, the county's announcement came a week after the losing candidate filed a complaint with the county and AG's office. Nevada Republican William Hochstedler noted that Fiore had been a Nye County resident for under 30 days before the December filing deadline for the position. Another requirement is being registered to vote in the jurisdiction. Under Fiore's moving timeline, she would have fallen short of the residency requirement, but would have been eligible to vote in Nye County. County officials said the first requirement didn't apply to Fiore because she was appointed, not elected. In a press release by county officials, they said, quote, the only requirement is that the appointee must be eligible to vote when he or she is appointed to a township office. Vegas Nation brought to you by Station Casino's STN Sports. Download the app today. Quarterback Derek Carr took to social media on Thursday to officially say goodbye to Raider Nation. In a heartfelt message, Carr began with, quote, Raider Nation, it breaks my heart I didn't get an opportunity to say goodbye in person. We certainly have have been on a roller coaster in our nine years together. Carr closed the message by saying he's not done yet. Quote, that fire burning inside of me to win a championship still rages. A fire no man can extinguish, only God. So I look forward to a new city and a new team who, no matter the circumstance, will get everything I have. In weather, sponsored by Star Nursery, your garden's partner for every booming thing. Get ready for another mildly chilly and partly cloudy night in the 50s. Temps falling to the 40s in a few hours, with the clouds here to stay. On to your 7-day forecast, a high of 59 and low of 44 degrees on Friday. Expect similar temps on Saturday with a good chance of rain. We may get a short break from the precipitation on Sunday before more showers come on Monday and Tuesday with some winds. We're back to milder conditions on Wednesday. In Health, sponsored by Boulder City Hospital. We're here for you when you need us. Let's not release the Kraken.
We're not talking about the sea monster, but a new COVID variant gaining traction in Nevada. This Omicron subvariant is reportedly the most contagious. The 14-day average for new cases inched up in Clark County to 194, from last week's 186. Hospitalizations, though, declined, and experts aren't too concerned because most people already have some immunity from vaccines or prior infection. And this new Kraken strain doesn't represent a big evolutionary leap from earlier strains. Sports brought to you by DNR House of Diamonds, luxury made affordable, located in downtown Summerlin. Here at UNLV, football coach Barry Odom introduced the rest of his coaching staff and also spoke about the sudden departure of Bobby Petrino, who was originally pegged to be the team's offensive coordinator. I hate that he was here for such a short time. I, I thought, honestly, that we would probably have that conversation a year from now because I think we're going to have success. I think we will be good on offense, and I think that would have created opportunities for him. I don't like it, but but it was the, the hand that I was dealt. Sports betting brought to you by the Las Vegas Paiute Tribal Smoke and Cigar Shop. Odds are on the board at Station Casinos for the exact Super Bowl matchup. The Kansas City Chiefs versus the Philadelphia Eagles is the 4-1 to one favorite. The Buffalo Bills against the Eagles and Bills against San Francisco are 5-1 to one, along with the Chiefs and Niners. The Cincinnati Bengals against the Eagles and Niners are each 10-1. to one. The Dallas Cowboys versus the Bills and Chiefs are each 12-1. to one. The longest shot for an exact Super Bowl matchup is 650-1 to one for a Miami Dolphins Seattle Seahawks Super Bowl. In Entertainment, sponsored by Arizona Charlie's, has got you covered with live entertainment every weekend at both locations. Go to ArizonaCharlie's.com to see who's playing. The adventurous music director of the Las Vegas Philharmonic will be bowing out. Donato Carrera's 10 year contract is up, and both sides are moving on. Cabrera is saying, although my time with the Las Vegas Philharmonic will come to a close as music director following the 2023-24 season, I can't wait to join our incredible audience. His last performance as conductor will be May 11th, 2024. Thank you for watching 7 at 7. If you have a Roku device, just search Review Journal to download our channel. Watch Las Vegas Breaking News streaming live on your OTT device. See you tomorrow for more 7 at 7. Review Journal Studio, sponsored by Adam Kuttner. Get the maximum settlement as quickly as possible. This 7 at 7 update, sponsored by Pro Group Management. You're watching 7 at 7 from the Las Vegas Review Journal.